This spacecraft you see around us will be carrying the first ever humans to land on Mars. Your job is to get on that spaceship and make sure it does not take off and get to Mars. I think you better call an emergency meeting. Why? Because someone's trying to take down this ship. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, emergency meeting. All right, listen up everyone and listen up good. I am the General of Space Force and today marks the day of the official start of the Gemini Project. You are sitting on 20 years of hard work. This spacecraft you see around us will be carrying the first ever humans to land on Mars. As General of Space Force, it is my duty to protect all citizens of the world and we don't know what's on Mars. There could be some freaky deaky stuff down there. That just scares the hijabi wibbies out of me. Furthermore, I have selected the best of the best to run this space station and make it to Mars. Beside me, we have astronauts, PhDs, scientists, and everyone in between. May I introduce you to the first crew member of the Gemini Project, Truthful Ted. He has a master's in art history, a PhD in prehistoric science, a psychology degree, and most importantly, bestseller author of the children's book, Telling Only the Truth. Ladies and gentlemen, Truthful Ted. Hi everyone, it's Truthful Ted. Never told a lie in my entire life. Even if I had to, I can't lie. Happy to be here. Now the next and most important member of this crew and one I truly admire, his name is none other than Snake. As an advanced PhD in criminology, flight wizard master, along with coordinated technician, he is one of the best men for the job. He doesn't say much. Ladies and gentlemen, Snake. What's up? I'm Snake. I like space, I guess. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and now for the pilots of the spacecraft, the smartest, most elite, most athletic, and the best men for the job. May I present to you my personal best friends, PJ, Big L, and the Mighty P. What? What do you mean you called the wrong guys? They look the same on my phone. No. That's Papa Jake Logan and Phil, that is not PJ, Big L, and the Mighty P. Yes, I know it looks the same in my contacts, but you should have gotten the right guys. These two are absolute imbeciles. They don't know how to fly a spaceship, let alone take this thing to Mars. You think that they're gonna be in charge of the Gemini program? They are complete idiots. I wouldn't have them run a lemonade stand if I was running one. Okay, yeah, that, that, that definitely hurt a little bit, but sir, to be honest, it is honestly a, uh, an honor to be insulted by you. That really makes my day. Don't forget me, guys, I'm here for the donuts! All right, change of plans. It looks like Papa Jake, Logan, and Phil will be the captains of this ship. It does not change, though, however, the mission. The mission is simple. Take the Gemini space shuttle and make it to Mars. Once in orbit, all five of you will have tasks you must accomplish in order to launch the system and make it all the way there. You are on the verge of new discovery. You are the faces of the new humanity. I am sure you will be very pleased with what's inside this briefcase. Your job is to get on that spaceship and make sure it does not take off and get to Mars. All right guys, so it looks like we are now in command of a intergalactic space station on the way to Mars. We've done it, Logan. Why are we on a space? Five, no, five. this is not good. We got Why chosen. are we going to space? Well, it was an accident. Yes, it was a very big accident, but either way, we're going to space, man. Have you not ever wanted to go to Mars? Think of all the sand and the mountains. Jake, you can't breathe on Mars. You can't breathe on Mars, but you know what you can do? You can jump. Jake, are yes. there any donuts in space? There are lots of donuts past the Milky Way. All right, let's go! Yeah. All right, look, guys, it's pretty simple. We do the tasks on this little task sheet. Bing, bada, boom. We're on our way to Mars, no problems. Logan, you will be the first man to ever step on Mars. After me, of course, because I'll be stepping out first. Phil, you'll be the third person ever go on Mars. Sounds like a plan. All right, now, of course, there are some ground rules as we do launch in this spacecraft. If anyone does have an issue with what's going on in the spacecraft, perhaps while doing your tasks, you notice that there is an emergency or an issue. We have installed an emergency button in the center of the console here. Now, if anyone has a problem, simply press this. We'll all hear the siren and come running. All right, so no one press this unless you absolutely have to. It's like a fire alarm at school. Logan, what are you doing? You already, okay. Whoa! 
Oh, okay. Why did you press the emergency button? There's no emergency. Jake, we're in outer space. That's an emergency. It's not an emergency. Nothing's happened yet, all right? Look, just do your tasks on the board. Okay, truthful Ted, I like you. I like you a lot. And you, Snake, go do your tasks, and we'll all be Mars in no time. Don't tell me what to do. You're not a real captain. You're on this ship by an accident. Okay, all right, you know what, Snake? I I'm taking those hurtful comments. I'm gonna put them in my little hurtful box and put that aside. I'm not gonna let those hurt me. I am a real captain. It says right here somewhere on here, Commander. And yes, it might've been an accident, but that doesn't matter. I'm your captain and you're acting extremely sus. So go do your tasks. Phil, go do your tasks. Logan, go do your tasks. Truthful Ted, you're with me. Let's go do some tasks. All right, my tasks. Empty garbage. Man. Okay, Phil, well, Jake's going with Truthful Ted, so why don't we partner up and do our tasks together? Okay, sounds good. All right, come on, Truthful Ted, you're with me, buddy. All right, unlock manifolds. Well, that's not my job. Let's keep moving on here. Oh, these guys are morons. I'll go do my own thing. You know, it's really good to get away from those guys sometimes, Truthful Ted. Get to another part of the space station, do our own thing. Just me and you, Truthful Ted. Sounds like a plan, just me and you, all together, alone. Yeah, you know, when they made me the leader of this whole ship, I thought, man, I don't know if I can do it. And then I looked in the mirror and I saw my face and I said, you're Papa Jake, you can do it. That's right, you are Papa Jake. Yep, you never lie. That's why I like you so much. All right, the first task is to fix the wires. Oh, look, here's the wires. Looks like we're in the cafeteria. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, time to find some donuts. Phil, do you have any jobs in the cafeteria? Um, yeah, I don't know, something about garbage or something like that. Oh, there's the garbage right there. Oh, right. Garbage. While you're over there, why don't you just do it quickly? Do what? The garbage. It's one of your jobs, but okay, I mean, how hard could that be? wires okay well it looks pretty simple you just connect the colors the blue wires connect with the blue wires pink with the pink all right and green with the green bam just like that the wires are connected okay right on fix wires complete all right well first thing on my task is fill canisters gotta be somewhere in the ship what do you got going on truthful ted i gotta turn on the water valve or something well can't argue with that he's always telling the truth all right guys well it looks like i have to fill the canisters with air and that is uh three canisters and that's on my list all right this should be fun actually i take that back this is probably not gonna be very fun One canister down, second one to go. And... Oh no, oh no, oh no! Truthful Ted, is everything okay in there? Okay, so my next task is to stabilize steering. Uh, do you have a task that's close to that? I'm not sure, but I got clean air filters. I'll go find those. Okie dokie. All right, stabilize steering. I think that should be in the control center. All right, looks like this is the control room. Stabilize steering. Let's see what we have here. Uh, what's okay? Stabilize steering, start. All right, let's do this. Stabilize steering. It says collect 20. All right, last one, bam. All right, looks like another task is complete. Fix wire, stabilize steering. Now we're on to unlock manful. Oh, hey, hey snake, what's going on? I knocked over the window and it wasn't my fault. I bumped into it while doing my task. Now it's all broken. It's all my fault. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, truthful Ted. You're always telling the truth. And that means a lot more than anything in this life. It's okay. I'll help you fix it. Oh, man. It must have taken a lot to knock this thing over. Here, help me get it up. What task were you doing again? I was fixing the water pipes. You do sound truthful. Oh, uh, hey Snake, what's going on? Not much. Just found this spring in the cafeteria. Looks like someone was trying to break the garbage chute. Awfully sus if you ask me. 
Oh no, that doesn't sound good. What's the sus thing everyone keeps saying? I don't know. You're acting awfully sus to me. What? What? Well, what's sus? I'm, I'm not sus at all. I'm, I'm just minding my own business, doing my own task. You, you were in the cafeteria. That's sus. Yeah, I was in the cafeteria fixing wires. Are you trying to take this spaceship down because you didn't even want to be on it in the first place? Snake, chill out, dude. Look at my wires. They're perfectly done. I think you better call an emergency meeting. Why? Because someone's trying to take down this ship. Oh my gosh. Okay. What is going on here? Okay, the emergency button. We're gonna flip the switch. All right, emergency meeting. Hey, you hear that? I'm calling the emergency meeting. Already? All right, come on, follow me, truthful Ted. So let's go wrong. Well, Phil, what are you doing? Oh, AJ, I was just doing my task. Okay, well, they're calling an emergency meeting. Come on, we gotta go quick, something's oh, wrong. Okay. Wait, Jake, yeah. you think there may be any donuts at this meeting? No, Phil, there's no donuts at the meeting. Come okay, on, go, okay, go, go, okay, we're on a spaceship. Okay. All right, as the captain, I have come to the emergency meeting, but I have not called it. Logan, why'd you call it? Okay, so Snake came up to me and he said, someone's been sabotaging the ship. He found the spring in the cafeteria, said it was from the garbage chute. He called me sus. I'm not sus. If anything, Snake is sus. He says like one word. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, everyone just calm down. You realize what this emergency meeting means, right? We all take a vote and whoever is voted as suspicious is therefore sent to the airlock and sent out of the spacecraft. Only then does our advanced computer technology let us know whether or not that person was in fact trying to take down the spaceship. You might ask why can't we do that before we shoot them out the airlock? Well. I didn't invent the system. That would make a lot more sense and would save a lot of people. But regardless, all right, Logan is calling Snake sus. Snake, how do you feel about that? If we're being honest here, I don't trust any of you. You're all super sus. Okay, well, it looks like Logan and Snake have a lot to work out. Perhaps instead of calling this meeting, we have therapy between you two. We set up a room and you guys can hash out your problems because it seems like you and Snake have a lot of problems. So I guess that means we're voting Snake, right guys? I'm not voting Snake. I don't think he did anything wrong. If he found it, I mean, who was the one that activated the garbage chute? So we're voting Logan. But Phil, Phil, that's super sus. I was literally helping you do your task. Right, I don't right, actually want to vote you, Logan. I want to vote Snake. down. Who touched the garbage chute? Technically me, but Phil asked me to. Now that might be the most sus thing I've ever heard, Logan. Why would you touch the garbage chute when it's Phil's job? Phil, why wouldn't you do your own job? I was just reading it. You were right there. Let's ask Truthful Jake. Ted. Truthful Ted, who do we vote off this island? All I know is I didn't do it, and I think it was Snake. That's the most sus thing I've heard all day. That might be the most sus thing you've said all week. We've, we've only been here for like 30 minutes. Not you, Truthful Ted. Not you. You're trying to take down this ship? No, that's what I'm saying. I'm not taking down the ship. I'm Truthful Ted. I'm telling the truth. I never lie. Stop, Truthful Ted. Just stop saying these words. You're just okay, I words. think it's clear that Snake is being the most sus out of everyone. He says like one word. He's super moody. And he came to us with the spring. He had the spring in his hand. Maybe he was the one who broke the garbage chute. I think what Logan's saying is right, guys. But what about the weather system? The only reason the weather system's down is because of Truthful Ted. And yes, the garbage chute is down, but I can't figure out between all three of you. All right, it's gonna have to come to a vote the good old fashioned way. Everyone, let us know in the comments down below who you think should be sent out that airlock. Because if anyone, it should probably be Logan. You guys said we should vote Snake off the island. You did, you, we're not on an island, Logan, we're on a spaceship. So technically there's nowhere to go but space. But you did all say that Snake was suspicious. A couple of you said Phil was. I am keeping an eye on you, Phil. But mostly as I could tell, it was all Logan comments. Everyone's saying, Logan, you're super sus. I'm not sus at all, Jake. I didn't even know what the word sus meant before coming on this spaceship. That's not, that's not how that works. You can't just say, I didn't know what the word meant, so I didn't commit the crime. You commit the crime, Logan, you do the time. In this case, launched into space. Okay, fine, well, you know what, everyone just Vote. I vote for Snake. Okay. It's really hard, but I think we all know, including you guys, who the imposter is. It's Truthful Ted. He's lying. What? Jake, he's Truthful Ted. Well, I'm still not completely sure what we're doing, but uh, yep, Jake, I agree with you. Truthful Ted. All right, Snake. I vote this guy. He's super sus. Probably the most sus guy I've ever seen. Who doesn't lie? What, guys? It's not me, it's not Truthful Ted. I never told a lie my entire I'm sorry, Truthful Ted, but it looks like you're the imposter on this ship. And if we're going to get to Mars, you got to go. Activating the airlock now. Goodbye, Truthful Ted. No, oh, please wait. No. No. 
Oh, oh no, not the imposter. Jake, I, I told you he wasn't the imposter. Oh, I guess he really was truthful. Phil, why did you make me choose truthful Trent? Why didn't you say he Trent? Was my I best said friend. I was like, oh no, he's in space. He never lied. Right, right to the very end, he never lied. If he only had told a lie and said I wasn't me, we wouldn't have lost you. Well, it's obviously Snake, because I'm not the imposter. Okay, you know what, Logan? It doesn't have to be Snake, okay? You're very cynical about this. Maybe there is no imposter on here, all right? Look, there's Snake, there's Phil, there's you, there's me. Obviously, I'm not the imposter, so we can count me out. That means there is one, two, three people who maybe could be the imposter, but we don't know, and we don't have evidence. So why don't we all go back to doing our tasks, and if anything else happens, We'll call a meeting and then we'll vote Logan off the island. It's not an island. Okay, well, you know what? All of you guys are sus. I don't like any of you. I'm just gonna go do my tasks. Nobody bother me. <sighs> Alright, guys. Things are getting a little bit weird around this spaceship and I don't like it one bit. Hey, Jeff, where are you going? I'm doing my tasks, Phil. Okay, cool. You know, the one good thing about this, Phil, is that of everyone on this spaceship, I think I trust you the most. You know what? I was feeling the same way about you. That's good. Maybe we should make a pact. You and me. We stick together. Look, Logan keeps saying it's the snake guy. But if you think about it, Logan was the only one to touch that garbage chute. You didn't touch it, right? I didn't touch it. Exactly. And Logan didn't want to be here in the first place. He even said, I don't want to be on the spaceship. He thought it was lame. Roll the clip. We've done it, Logan. Why are we on a spaceship? I no, five. this is not good. We Why are we going to space? Exactly. Hmm. All right, well, looks like my next task is to uh, fix the weather note. So I'm going to go do that. Phil, do whatever you got to do. Got it. All right, guys, looks like it's here. So according to this, I need to activate all the buttons on here that correspond with the weather node. So that would be white, red, purple, black. So white, red, purple, black, and blue, yellow, and orange. Okay, not that bad. Blue, yellow, and this yellow. And this one. And that's where it says. Okay. I think I did it, right? But you know what? I don't like this. Everyone seems to be turning on each other. Jake, for some reason, has it out for me. I thought we were friends. Oh, hey, Jake. Hey, Logan. How's it going? Nothing much. Just chilling, not being sus at all. Before Dude, you, why, you know what? You don't have to say all the words sus. Everything on this spacecraft is sus, okay? The longer we're up here, I haven't seen an ocean in seven days, Logan. We've been here for like, again, a couple hours. I haven't seen an ocean in a couple hours. To Space Command, we've already had to get rid of one person we suspected to be an imposter. We innocently ejected the wrong imposter, Jake. That was a pretty big mistake, Jake. We um, accidentally ejected the wrong imposter. Uh, it was Truthful Ted, but it is not clear whether or not he wouldn't have become an imposter had we not given him more time on the spaceship. Thank you, over. There might not even be an imposter. Jake, Snake Guy said there's a spring missing. How do we know he didn't just find a spring and make this whole thing up? I don't know, Logan. But why are we leaving Snake Guy all alone? You're right, maybe we should be like watching him. Exactly. See, I've been watching Phil this whole time. But where's Phil? He's in here. I know exactly what he's doing. He's not an imposter. He's cleaning stuff. Phil, what are you doing? Oh, hey, guys. Phil, what are you doing? Oh, well, I was in here. I noticed that there was only two canisters filled. Who was doing this job? That's my job. And I'll fill the rest right now. Something's happening to the spaceships. It's the imposter! It's Snake! Get him! Where's Snake? Jake, that was a massive hit to our space station. Oh, wait, to no, our spaceship. It it's Snake! Snake, where are you? Do we call an emergency meeting? Yeah, we do. It's emergency meeting time. Everyone, emergency meeting! Snake, where are you? You're the imposter! Hey, come on! Come on! All right, Snake, you're the imposter. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Who is this guy? You can't be doing that to me. Look at this guy. I found him in the ship. Yeah, I'm Billy the Stowaway. And I've been in the cameras this entire time. I know exactly who's sus on this ship. Well, obviously it's this guy. He just got here. No, it's not. In fact, I was put here for a very specific reason to stop whoever is the imposter. So I'm glad you called this emergency meeting because I've been watching everything. 
but all you guys are going around doing your task, yelling at each other, making up stupid rules, ejecting that poor truthful Ted into space, I've been watching. And the imposter is right here in this room and his name is- Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not say one more word, Mr. Billy the camera stowaway guy. This is a democracy and we do things democratically here. We're holding the vote. Gee, he's about to tell us who the imposter is. No, Logan, he wasn't. Okay, he was, but that's not the point. This is a democracy, we vote, all right? All in favor of Billy the Stowaway. Yeah, I vote Billy the Stowaway too. I, I vote Snake. He's been here since the beginning and he's being super sus. Snake, who do you vote? What, a vote? I'm about to tell you who the imposter is. I vote is. this guy, he's sus. I've been watching the whole time. All right, then it's settled. Billy the stowaway, unfortunately, you're getting ejected. No, wait, the imposter is! Ooh, that's two for two. Uh, Jake, you could have just let the man finish. Well, I thought he was the imposter. We held the phone. Phil, why did you do that again? You know, I just keep following whoever you say. It's obviously Snake. Don't know if it's Snake Logan. I can't just Logan, throw it's either snake, snake or it's one of you two. Excuse it's not me! Me? The captain of this spaceship is the imposter? I don't know. What about you, Mr. Cafeteria Boy? You're the I've... only one that touched that thing. You're the only one that touched the trash bin, and that's where they found it. I don't know if the spring came from the trash bin, Jake. I've been doing all my jobs. You guys know that. Me and Snake? He's my bro. Jake, you just met Snake. Phil, have you even done a single job? Yes! Jake walked in on me doing the one in the hallway! I there. did see him doing one in the hallway over there. I mean, he doesn't know what he's doing, but that's fine, because that's Phil. He doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, I don't want another mishap with another guy getting ejected and another wrong imposter. As of right now, nothing bad is even happening. There was a little rumble in the ship. That could have been some turbulence. As of right now, nothing's even wrong. Let's just keep doing our tasks. Okay, and I've got a very important task to do. It's in the other room. You're being sus. I'm not being sus, Logan. You're being sus. Phil, are you done? This is too much sus. I'm out of here. All right, Phil's out of here. Snake, go do your jobs. Everyone, do your jobs. Okay, going back to the original spot. I got some air filters. Oh, hey, pain. sus Logan, or should I say Logan sus, susser pants? Sus Lord would have been a way better, cooler yeah. comeback. You sus Lord. I am doing my job. Oh, you wanna you wanna watch me do my job, Logan? Because I'm not sus. I have to collect these red balls, and I have to collect three of them in order to turn the power on. That's not sus at all. What are you doing? Jake, you just cheated. I'm not cheating. Can't go through walls. I'm not going this. through walls. I'm, it's a maze. I'm going back and forth in the mazes. Again, Jake. Boom! Good for you. You did a task. Come here. I'm going to do my task. All right, let's watch you do this task. Oh, cleaning out the vents, I see. Yeah, I don't know why there's like leaves and stuff in the vents. A whole lot of leaves to be in the vents, Logan. <laughs> what? Jake, who messed up the garbage? I don't know. You're the only one touching it. No, I, I just got here. I've never been in this room, Jake. I don't know, Logan. It wasn't me, because I was connecting dot balls on the board. Well, Phil was in here earlier, Jake. He wasn't doing anything. He was in here when we got the... in here, just standing. Are you accusing Phil of being yes, sus? Yes, Jake, he's honestly so How sus. How could Phil be sus? Jake? He is not even know where we earlier, are right here. We came in the room. He was just standing here looking at these balloons. Like, what is he doing? And then we come in here, someone's not the garbage over. I have to pour these into the garbage and it's upside down. Okay, Mr. Sus Boy, if you think it's Phil, you're gonna stay right beside me. Why don't we go do a little surveillance on him, see what he's up to. What's he doing in there? Okay, well, what's he doing in the cafeteria? He's not doing any tasks, he's just eating. Okay, Logan, he's eating soup in a cafeteria. If that's suspicious, then call the police. We're in space, Jake, there ain't no police. Look, he's eating food in a cafeteria. But he's not doing any jobs. Maybe he's taking a break. These jobs are a lot of work, especially for a little guy like him. Okay, Jake, fine. All right, let's look at what Snake's doing. If anything, maybe right. Maybe he's the more suspicious one. Snake? Where is he? Oh, hey guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Snake, why do you have a knife? Yeah, why do you have a knife? You're the imposter. Oh no, it's happening. Oh no, Logan, I'm too young, I'm too young. Take him, take him, not me, oh, let me okay, go, Snake. Okay, just relax. Snake, why do you have a knife? What? I'm just using it to fix the generator. It's one of my tasks. If you're not the imposter, then Snake, what's my name? Well, that's easy. 
Your name's Jake. All right, well, that clears that up. Maybe there's no imposters left on this ship, Logan. If you knew anything about fixing generators, it would be the first thing you use is a knife. You do not need a knife to fix a generator. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold down, Logan. You don't know that. You're not a generatorologist. You could electrocute yourself if you just stick a knife in an outlet or something, Jake. So what? You're saying that Snake has that knife because what? He's coming around as the imposter trying to... I don't know. Maybe He's trying to shut down the mission, Jake. Well, then why would he pop up like that and say, oh, hey, guys, when you could just take both of us out with a knife? Well, there's two of us. Maybe we, we have the upper hand. But you know, Snake, if you were to take out one of us with that knife, it better be Logan because me and you are buddies. Jake, again, I don't know where the loyalty... We've been friends for years and you just met Snake. Guys, I heard yelling. What's going on? Bill? Snake has a knife. Listen, guys, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm using this to fix a generator. Do I the button? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a generator fixing knife. Phil, click the emergency button. I got it, Logan. <laughs> All right, listen up. There's only four of us left on this ship. One being me, the least sus person here, and yours truly, the captain. We have Phil, who is, in all honesty, probably the least sus person here, which means it's down between Logan and you, Snake. So, since it's come down to this, we need to choose another person to eject from this spaceship, and hopefully this time, it will be the imposter. We don't need to eject anyone. We can just keep doing our task, get the ship to Mars, and just be done with this thing. Logan, not ejecting someone at an emergency meeting is the equivalent of not bringing a cake to a birthday. It's a complete waste of time. No cake at a birthday? No cake at a birthday, Phil, no, I know. we gotta eject someone, Logan. Well, I hate to say it, Snake, but you're being sketchy. All right, I think it's settled. All in favor of voting Snake off the ship, Raise your hand. Finally, you guys see this guy is sus. I'm sorry, Snake, but you're gone. Fine. You know what? It's better than being in here with you losers. Oh, boy, that's not good. What oh, no. is going on? You or you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow no, 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 no. Roll. You guys. I don't trust either one of you. Slow your roll, Logan. You haven't done a job. I haven't seen you do a job. And you're being okay, Everyone just calm down, okay? There's three of us on the ship. One person is trying to screw this mission up. Okay, just everyone calm down, all right? Look, we have gotten rid of Snake. We have gotten rid of Truthful Ted, and we got rid of the stowaway. None of those people were imposters. That's on Phil. But what I'm trying to say is that now there is only three of us left. Now, if we do simple math here, and I mean real simple, we know it's not me. We know it's not me. We don't know it's not you, Logan. That's the point. But we also don't know don't it's not Phil. I don't think it could be me. Phil, which means it's one of you. It's one of you. It's one of you. Honestly, a lot of sus in this room. Seeing as how we all can't decide on who it is, I think we need a little bit of a game to figure out who it is. You're right, Jake. Why don't we all do our jobs, but we all watch each other do our jobs? Mm -hmm. That way, we all make it to Mars. Unless any of you have a problem with that, huh? Any of you have a problem with that? Logan, you know it's been my childhood dream to go to Mars. If anything, you didn't want to go. Phil doesn't know where we are, so it doesn't matter. Okay, enough talking. Let's go do tasks. Okay, who's first? You, Logan, you're first. Let's see you do a task. Unlock the manifolds. Easy. All I have to do is cross off the numbers in order. One, two, three, four. Where's Jake? Jake! Jake! That's sus! Jake! Okay, I'm gonna finish this quick. Jake is being really sus. 10, 11. Done. I'm done unlocking manifolds. Don't even know what that is, but I'm done it. Okay, Jake, where are you? Guys? Jake, we're supposed to be doing tasks as a don't team. Come in here. What? Don't come in here. Phil, move. Phil, go. What do you mean don't come in don't here? Come in here, guys. I thought about it long and hard, guys. There's only three of us left, and I thought to myself, what if, just what if I am the imposter? I didn't even know I was the imposter, but it turns out I'm the imposter and I was doing everything. Maybe I did it. Maybe I was sleepwalking. You're not sleepwalking. If we all just do tasks together, we can figure this out or we could just make it to Mars. I'm too dangerous. I made this barricade so you guys can never break in. Just leave me. Okay, so you're admitting you're the imposter. Okay, Jake, Jake, you're How'd being you get through my barricades? Sus. You're being super sus. I know, Logan, because I'm freaking out that I'm the imposter. What if I am him? 
Okay, Phil, you know what? You're next. We're all just gonna watch you do a job. There's a garbage chute in the stabilization room. Let's just go over there. You can do a task. My turn to do a task? Yes. I just did a task. Now it's your turn. What about Jake? Jake is losing it a little bit and he's fine. Jake, you're not the imposter. How do you know that, Logan? Because we're gonna stick together and get ourselves to Mars. Where are the people I love most? Jake, come with us. <sighs> Okay, we're all gonna travel as a team. That's the best way to know that there's no imposter. Maybe we were just wrong this whole time and we were all super paranoid. Okay, Phil, just got one task left. The garbage. Where is it? It's right here. Literally oh. right here. Okay, I can do that. I can uh, get rid of the garbage. Oh, you're being really sus. Phil, it's pretty easy. Just, just hit the garbage. Good guys. I got something I gotta tell you. <laughs> Jake. What, Phil? Don't be mad. No, Phil, not you. Phil. No. Yeah, Logan? Why can't you just do this simple task? Oh my, oh my little Phil. I, I, I can't do tasks, Logan. I'm the imposter. Phil, how could you do that to us? Holy panic, granola parts. I trusted you, Phil. Why? Phil, why would you betray us? Guys, it all happened a long time ago, before we ever stepped on this spaceship. I am sure you will be very pleased with what's inside this briefcase. Your job is to get on that spaceship and make sure it does not take off and get to Mars. Okay, sounds simple enough. Whoa, that's a lot of donuts. Looks like this spaceship ain't going to Mars. But guys, check this out. What is this? I got all the donuts. You did all of this for wow. 12 donuts? Those are a lot of donuts, Phil. I'm not gonna lie. Phil, how could you do this to us? How can we trust you after this? I don't know, Logan. I'm sorry. You know what? I think this taught us a very valuable lesson. Yeah, it's cool and all to go to Mars, but there's nothing in this world that beats a good old fashioned donut. I say we turn this thing around and go home. Phil, I forgive you. Oh, thanks, Jake. It will never happen again, I promise. That was so sus.